dog gon' be a dog, well, he keep bug or he bite. I got a nigga in that cell, I pray to y'all, he be alright. I'm bringing that pressure, rather they wrong or they right. And what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Bass Ed, and I am back with another video, man. In this video, guys, I will be tuning my bass knob to my amp or tuning my amp to my bass knob, however you want to put it, man. Either way, I'm gonna be sending my amp according to my bass knob. And when I say that, I mean, I can turn the bass knob full tilt without any clipping. So I'm gonna set my bass knob to my amp or my amp to my bass knob. And I'm gonna show y'all the quick and easy way to make that happen. So if y'all interested in seeing that, man, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna explain it like I say, quick, straight to the point video, man. This your boy Bass at it. Let's get it. SMD make tools to detect distortion and all that in your head unit so you'll know where to set your head unit at, what volume you can play with clean power. But as y'all know, I don't have that right now. Um, Still gotta get the proper tools to tune it. But this video is for the guys like me that don't have the tools to exactly get it spot on. The first step would be making sure your head unit is zeroed out. And when I say zeroed out, I mean subwoofer on level adjustment on your head unit should be at zero. Um, no bass boost, no loudness boost, none of that. We don't use any of that. Well, I don't anyway. No loudness, no bass boost, uh, subwoofer level input on the head unit zeroed out, okay? The next step would be turn your bass knob all the way up, max it out. It's best to play like a 40 hertz test tone to tune your amplifier to, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, I record on my phone and I don't have a 40 hertz test tone on my uh, USB or nothing like that, which I need to buy another usb just with test tone so i can you know be able to do what i need to do but you don't always need that 40 hertz it's best to have it but you don't need it that's why i say you um find your song turn it up to your normal listening volume to where everything sounds clean not distorted but like i say a critical step is make sure you unhook your subwoofer from your amplifier before you even do this Make sure you unhook your subwoofer from your amplifier before you even do this. Make sure you do that because you don't want to have your subs going all the way crazy, being clipped in the devil, blow them, and then you're like, well, that's how Bass Addict did here. Bass Addict telling you not, guys. Make sure your subwoofers are unhooked. Make sure they unhook. As y'all can see, my subwoofer inputs right there. I'm about to unhook that. And. The way I do it is, y'all can see my gain and all that down there. I turn the gain all the way down on the um, bass amplifier. I turn the gain on the amplifier all the way down. I turn it all the way down. Turn the gain completely down. I might go and get the keys, and we're going to start the call, and we're going to turn our head unit up into our long, normal listening volume, and then with our bass knob, cranked all the way up we're going to slowly turn the gain up on the amplifier until we start getting some clipping and then guys you bag off the amplifier gain the gain on the amplifier you bag off until that clip light is gone off unless you want to have a very soft clip but once you start seeing clipping you bag off just a little bit until that clip light is off i, have, I forgot to put that in there. i had to insert this guys so I ain't want to miss that step. It's very crucial. We getting the cleanest possible power we can coming from the amplifier without clipping it. Like I said, I read it in the comment, which made a lot of sense because when I hooked the bass knob up, I didn't readjust the amp for it. My amp was adjusted to play without the bass knob. Now that I have the bass knob, guys, I need to be able to crank it all the way up without distorting or clipping it. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing today. Okay, guys, y'all can see the uh, speaker inputs are all out. And I got the gain, if y'all can see it over there, turned all the way down. Now, the next step will be fire the cup, which I'm about to do right now. 
And like I say, guys, we did have a um, we did have a Florida hurt test home. So like I said, I'm at the play some Hardaway OG that bring in pressure because it, it holds a pretty good um bass note. So what I'm gonna do is turn my head unit up to the volume which I listen to it in. Let me show y'all. Audio control subwoofer level zero. Uh let me see what else we got. Loudness off. Uh, so it will sit on, of course. Uh, I'm trying to find the volume offset. I got that on a positive too, which I probably changed, guys. I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably changed it. But everything else is zeroed out, guys. So turn the bass knob all the way up. And we're gonna crank the joke up and we're gonna slowly start turning the gain up on the amp. Until we start seeing that clip light come on. When the clip light come on, we're going to bag off it till it goes off or have a very slight clip that's with the speakers unhooked. Like I said, you don't want to crank your CD player all the way up, the bass knob all the way up, and, and be banging on your subwoofer trying to t trying to tune it, guys. Trust me, I, I done did it before. It ain't good at all. But we're going to start slowly turning the gain up. Once I turn it up to a while, I normally listen to it at which is like 28 before it starts sounding muddy and distorted and all the other good stuff. So probably like 28 is like my sweet number for the head unit. So we're going to turn it up to 28 and slowly start turning the gain up on the amp till we start seeing that clip indicator. Then we're going to bag off it a little bit. I may leave a soft, very soft clip on it, but then again, I may not. Because like I say, this, I do this shit on the budget. I cannot afford another amp at this moment, guys, at all. So... I might not have no clip at all, but let's get to it. I'm bringing that pressure. Grab it in the wrong boy, right? A snake gon' be a snake, well, it's dog boy, like. A dog gon' be a dog, well, it's ball boy, boy. I got a nigga in that cell, I pray y'all ain't be all right. I'm bringing that pressure. Okay, guys, so it's just that simple. Y'all seen when I was adjusting it with my fingertip, with my fingernail, I was adjusting it that's without the soles hooked up, and we ran into a little clipping. So we are a little boy half. We're about right there, a boy half. 
And um We ain't doing no clipping And like I say the bass knob is maxed out So that's good And my max playing volume I know if I turn my bass my bass knob up I'm not clipping Granted guys Now keep it keep in mind Cause it got a lot to do with it All songs are not recorded the same guys some songs hit harder than others. You should have a 40 hertz test tone to do this with. You know what I'm saying? To adjust yourself with an amplifier or something in that, in that nature, guys. You should definitely have a 40 hertz test tone. And when I download one, I'm definitely gonna come back out here and reset it. But for now, it's doing good. It, my, I'm turned up to my max volume, the bass and all I'm maxed out. I'm not clipping. So in my book, that's a job well done. But the whole point is making sure your system is playing it is full potential without risking hurting your equip your equipment so that's the whole point of the video man if y'all found any type of value in this video man make sure you like comment share subscribe and all uh, help join and grow the beautiful family man this your boy base said it checking out with another one no it's not the most technical no it's not the exact way you're supposed to do it guys but it will get you close as hell to where you need to be at to make sure your equipment performing close to its peak possibilities depending on you know your setup how much power you run into your amp and all the other good stuff so i hope this video will help y'all because i learned along the way this your boy base added checking out with another one we are Nigga in this hell, I pray y'all be alright I'm bringing that pressure Gravity wrong, Lord